There is an absolute insane development in the science and technology world that you're not going to believe. The very first US patient ever just got a brand new computer chip implanted into their brain. This is a historic development and humanity will never be the same. It's important to understand that this is a medical procedure trying to treat a patient with ALS, but the promise of this technology is that eventually it could be brought to everyday people to try to augment and enhance their brain functions. Now, as I mentioned, this is a historic day for humanity. As more people start to understand this technology and we begin to get more and more data as to what this technology allows for and how it can actually enhance the way that humans interact with their brain their thoughts and their intelligence, I wouldn't be surprised to see this become a major field to improve humans' capabilities and to also drive more economic productivity globally. Now let's jump in and make sure we understand exactly what's happening here. On July 6th, according to Ashley Vance over at Bloomberg, a doctor at Mount Sinai West Medical Center in New York put a 1.5 inch long implant made up of wires and electrodes into a blood vessel in the brain of a patient with ALS. The hope is that the patient who's lost the ability to move and speak will be able to surf the web and communicate via email and text simply by thinking. That device will translate his thoughts into commands sent to a computer. Synchron, which is the startup behind the technology, they've already done this to four patients in Australia and there's been no side effects and those individuals have been able to carry out such tasks as sending WhatsApp messages and making online purchases. The recent procedure in the United States was the first for a company here within our borders. This puts them ahead of competitors like Elon Musk's Neuralink. And according to the neurointerventional surgeon who performed the surgery, he said this surgery was special because of its implications and huge potential. Now, just the idea of this technology is a really big deal, but the way they do it will absolutely blow your mind. What's occurring here is a brain computer interface, which is a device known as a stentrode that can be inserted into the brain without cutting through a person's skull or damaging their tissue. A doctor makes an incision into the patient's neck and it feeds the stentrode via a catheter through the jugular vein into a blood vessel nestled within the motor cortex. As the catheter is removed, the device, which is basically a hollow wire mesh, opens up and begins to fuse with the outer edges of the vessel. According to the surgeon, the process is very similar to implanting a coronary stent and takes just a few minutes. Now, as we continue to see this technology push forward, and as Ashley Vance over at Bloomberg points out so eloquently, this can have major implications on humanity. Imagine a world where we not only can go in and cure or help to soften the impact of something like ALS, but what happens when now we may not need to actually talk or to type or to communicate in traditional means. By simply thinking, you'll be able to get things done. Now, there's one aspect of the conversation where people say, I don't want that. I'm worried. What if people could spam me? What if they could DDoS my brain? And what if I actually like talking or I like getting things done the old fashioned way? Of course, if this technology proves viable, that will take decades and decades to come to fruition. But at the end of these types of experiments, what we find is that technology has been a net positive for humanity. And if we are able to find a way to augment and enhance human intelligence by using technology, people will do it. Companies like Synchron, Neuralink and others are all pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And now we see the very first patient in the United States to receive an implant of a brain computer interface. This was a dream of technologists and medical professionals just a few years ago, but now it is becoming reality. It'd be fascinating to continue to watch how this plays out, where people think we should go ahead and insert the technology next, and what the potential impact, both positive and negative, will be in the future. Brain computer interfaces are at the cutting edge of technology, innovation, experimentation, and the medical field. The promise is large, the experiments are happening now, and I can't wait to see what ends up being possible.